Let's now shift gears to Parliament, where a new bill is now seeking to bar the media from getting crucial information from the two houses. The bill fronted by National Assembly Majority Leader Aidan Dwale cites what it calls national security as one reason why Parliament can refuse to give vital information to the public. And as Duncan Heimber reports, Dwale is also seeking to edge out the Senate from making key financial decisions at Parliamentary Service Commission. The Garissa Town Member of Parliament, who is also the majority leader in the National Assembly, is not new to controversy in and out of Parliament. But his latest bill now threatens to take the sibling rival in Parliament to a whole new level. The Parliamentary Service Bill 2017, if passed, will eliminate the Senate clerk who, according to the Constitution, is the chief executive and accounting officer for the Parliamentary Service Commission. This would essentially mean that the Senate has no say in the commission, which is chaired by National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi. Some members of Parliament claim the main aim of the bill is to clip powers of the current Senate clerk, Jeremiah Nyengenye, who is a stickler for procedure and has been viewed by some as an impediment in projects where members have personal interest. The Dwale bill now seeks to make the Director General an accounting officer, while the Director of the Center for Parliamentary Studies will also become an executive director, giving the officer powers to spend. The move will see the two officials massively claw away the powers of the Senate clerk. It seems it's targeting some individuals, and it's very, very unfair if you are coming to legislate to target an individual because of the conflict of interest. Another offending clause in the bill is seen as aimed at gagging the media. The bill seeks to give powers to Parliament to defy the freedom of information as enshrined in the Constitution if in the judgment of Parliament the information requested is prejudicial to national security or interest of Parliament in the performance of its functions. More shocking is subsection 3, which states that the right of access to information under Article 35 of the Constitution shall be limited to the nature and extent specified under the section. Offenders of this clause shall be liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 50,000 shillings or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding one year or to both. Another curious proposal in the bill is the establishment of a parliamentary police unit within precincts of parliament. The bill had been listed as item number 11 on Wednesday's order paper. Duncan Hember, KTN News.